moving now to the Philippine capital, Manila, where an unofficial rail car service is filling in the gaps of the city's struggling transport network. A community of homeless people pushes commuters along rails still used by the Philippine National Railway. Last year, at least nine people died in accidents involving trains, but rail officials say they're powerless to stop the trolley pushers. The BBC's Philippine correspondent Howard Johnson has the details. This is Manila's unofficial rail service. It's run by a small homeless community that live by the tracks. Each trolley carries around eight passengers. Joel Vejerano has been pushing trolleys for more than a decade. She earns around $10 a day. At the start, it's push and run, push and run. If it's uphill and the trolley is full and you're the only one pushing, it's difficult. Our life here is, if you don't push, you don't eat. It costs around two cents to travel around a kilometer on these tracks. And commuters like it because it's cheaper and more efficient than other forms of transport. But using it does come with risks. And that's because the line is still active. Around four trains pass along these tracks every hour. The Pandacan Bridge is the most dangerous part of the route. If a trolley is on the bridge as a train approaches, pushers must move to the other side as quickly as possible. The alternative is a 30-meter drop to the river below. It feels disconcerting and scary when a train passes by. We don't know if we are shaking because of how loud the horns are or the rumble of the wheels. Last month, a train driver kept blowing his horn, but he hit a trolley pusher. Even his heart came out of his body. The pusher died. The rail authorities say because the problem rests with a lack of law enforcement in the area, there's very little they can do. Our drivers are really religiously observing our uh, speed restrictions. Uh, we are requesting the full cooperation of the, of the riders also, of not to patronize the rail skates. It's because it's really risky you know, and pose dangers to the lives of everyone. Lack of investment led to the decline of the country's rail service. Current President Rodrigo Duterte has promised to change that by spending on major rail infrastructure projects. But while a shortfall in service remains, trolley pushers will continue to plug the gaps. Howard Johnson, BBC News, Manila. My goodness, Rico, what a dangerous way to earn just a little bit yes. of money. I've seen these trolley pushers uh, in Manila a few times, uh, Kasha. It is very dangerous and it has to stop soon. Yes, let's hope they'll find a different way to earn something to get something to eat.